Hi, Tom here at Amazing Forum, and today I'd like to answer probably the most asked question I get on my YouTube channel, will this compressor work? So that is one of those questions that is always a maybe. There's so many variables that go into whether or not a certain compressor will work with, in a certain situation, so I'm going to try and give you the basics of what the numbers on a compressor mean and kind of give you a quick demonstration of how those work. So I got two compressors here. Uh, this is a very small one. This is uh, goes up to 150 PSI. It's a six gallon one. I think Harbor Freight has like a three gallon one as well. This one's probably from Home Depot. This is a larger 20 gallon one. So for spraying, the main thing that you need to worry about is the CFMs, which stands for cubic feet per minute. That's kind of a vague term, but we won't get into the details of the more specific ones but they will all be rated. So this is rated at uh, 2.6 CFMs at 90 PSI. So that means at 90 PSI, it can always, it can continuously put out 2.6 cubic feet per minute of air at 90 PSI. It doesn't mean it can only put out 2.6, it can put out a lot more than that, but it will run out of air essentially and won't be able to catch up. Uh, this one here, I think, is around 6 at 90 PSI, so it can push out more air. The larger the compressor, the more CSMs it can do. It's not always the case, but more or less. So then the other thing is your max PSI. I think these are both 150. You would never spray anything at that high, so we don't have to worry about that. And then the volume, so how much air. So this one's 6 gallons. This holds 6 gallons of air. That holds 20. Like I said, mine holds like 100. So why does all that matter? So a spray gun, depending on the type of spray gun and what you're spraying, uses a certain amount of CFMs. So this gun here, which is the one I used uh, in my video, is a cheap gun from Harbor Freight. It's the, I think it's the two-piece auto kit. It's 50 bucks for this gun and a small one. It's considered an HVLP gun. The manual says it uses between nine and 12 CFMs. So that's a lot of air. Uh, like I said, this, is rated 2.6 continuous so um, but this compressor will work with this gun and I'll show you what it can do and what its limitations are all right so most compressors now come with uh, they'll have two gauges on them one is your tank pressure which is the pressure that's in the tank and one is your regulated pressure which is the amount of pressure that it allows out I got it set a little bit high for this I'm just spraying water out of here for a demonstration but when I pull the trigger, this will drop down, should drop down to around 40. If not, I'll adjust it. So what I'm gonna show you is how long you can spray before you get below the pressure you need to spray. So we're, we're gonna watch both these gauges. And if, once this gauge drops below this gauge, um, that means now your, your painting's gonna start to suffer at that point and eventually it'll completely run out of air. It'll kick on around 100, it'll get noisy. Um, but we can spray all the way down to, I said, probably around 40. So we're gonna do this now and we'll get a timer set too. So as you can see, it takes a long, a long, quite a long time for this to get back up to pressure. Um, even without spraying, if you were spraying, it would take even longer to get up to pressure. And like I said, this can, this gun outputs more air than this can actually make. So it will never catch up if you continue to spray. However, you can spray, I don't know what that was, 20, 30 seconds, um, a minute, maybe before you need to stop and let it catch up. Um, in a lot of spraying situations, if you're spraying small parts, you would never be spraying that long at any one time you'd spray a little bit set the gun down you know spray some you know spray here spray there um, spraying out a car you would have a hard time doing it with this small of a compressor because you would just be waiting so long you wouldn't be able to keep your wet edge long enough um, this compressor here this slightly larger compressor uh, you could do a car with this um, pretty easily you could even get away with probably a smaller one We've taken this onto a few jobs and done some pretty big sprays. 
Um, again, this is rated at 6 CFMs, um, 90 PSI, I think it's 7 at 40. So again, it's not, it won't keep up with your gun if you're spraying continuously. So even on that job, we did have to wait here and there in order for it to catch up. So another thing you can do um, to increase the amount of time you can spray in a session is to increase your tank size. So you can buy extra expansion tanks. Um, it'll take longer for it to fill up because it's only outputting what it can output, but then you'll be able to spray for a longer period of time before it kicks on and you have to wait again for it to fill up. So it's kind of a wash because it's going to take longer to fill up, but uh, depending on what you were spraying, it could give you enough time to get done what you need to get done before, before it has to kick on again. So I think that pretty much sums it up. Um, like I said, uh, you've got your CFMs, which is the amount of air that it can output, um, and whatever gun you're using is gonna be rated at a certain amount. Uh, you can use a compressor that has a smaller CFM than the gun's rated for. You just can't use the gun continuously on that compressor. To use a gun like the Harbor Freight one with 12 CFMs, you're looking at a really big compressor uh, to run that continuously. Another thing that can affect how much CFMs that gun is using is exactly what you're spraying. If you're spraying something thin like a, a wood stain, you can have your pressure dial down further. Uh, if you've got, um, if you're spraying very small parts and your fan's small, that's going to use less air. On the other hand, if you're trying to spray something thicker like latex paint, which you can out of these guns, it's not ideal, but it can be done. But you have to have, you know, your fan open. Uh, you need to have, you know, really high pressure, um, you know, I would say probably 60 to even 80 PSI in order to get that latex out of the gun, even thin. Um, so that's going to take more air. So that's just less time that you're spraying before it has to kick back on and regenerate. Um, I hope that answers your questions. And if you have any more questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks.